All right, so here we have a, another optimization problem. It says find two positive numbers, x and y, whose sum is 30 and are such that x times y squared is as large as possible. All right, so we've got two numbers, x and y, and their sum is 30. So they give us that information. Okay, they tell us x plus y is 30. So let's write that down. All right. And they want us to maximize, okay, because it says as large as possible. So they want us to maximize this profit here. So we've got, let's just write, uh, let's write here P equals X times Y squared. All right, so in, in optimization problems, you're going to, most of the time, they're going to give you some information like this, and then they're going to give you something to maximize or minimize. Now, anything that we're going to maximize or minimize, maximize in this case, we need to take the derivative of it. But before we take the derivative, we need to get everything in terms of one variable. Okay, So that's what this is for. They give us this little extra piece of information here. And we can use this to put this product here all in terms of one variable. So let's get this all in terms of x. So if I solve this for y... I get y equals 30 minus x, okay? And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this right here so we'll have, some, have enough room to work it. All right, so this is the information they gave me, and I, I used this to get this function here, what I want to maximize in terms of one variable. So let's plug the 30 minus x in for y. So I get P equals X times 30 minus X squared. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out. Whoop. Okay. So just, just keep in mind, all I did here is this is... 30 minus X times 30 minus X, and I fold that out. That's all I did. All right, and so now I have P is equal to X cubed minus 60 X squared plus 900 X. I just, and I distributed the, uh, the X here. So now let's take the derivative. So I get P prime is equal to 3x squared minus 120x plus 900. And then what I want to do is set this equal to 0 and solve for x. So 3x squared minus 120x plus 900 equals 0. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by 3, make it easier to factor if it factors. And so that's x squared minus, what is that, 40x plus 300 equals 0. And so let's see what we get here. That's x, x, and I believe we can do minus 30 and minus 10. So I get x equal 30 or x equal 10. All right, so which one is it? Well, remember, we want to maximize this thing. So if I plot these numbers on a number line, okay, and I choose a number from each region, let's just choose 5, uh, 20, and then how about 35. All right. So you remember 
you should remember back when you were graphing about when you were finding out about increasing and decreasing and all that. Okay, so we take each of these numbers and plug them back into the derivative. Let's plug them back into the this part here that's factored because we don't care about the exact number we get. All we care about is uh, is it positive or negative. So let's look at this. If I plug the 5 in, do you see that'll be a negative times a negative, which is positive. That's increasing. If I plug the 20 in, that's a negative. That's a positive. So that would be negative. If I plug the 35 in, positive times a positive is positive. So that tells us we know that x equal 30 is not a solution. We've got a minimum there. Here's our maximum here at 10. So, so it's x equal 10. And then, so that's my x value. But I want to find two positive numbers. And so if I do that, I need to take the 10 and plug it in here to figure out what y is. And so y is equal to 30 minus 10, which equals 20. So that would be 10 and 20 would be my solution. All right. So I hope that helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.